Wow, this question looks interesting. Here given to us is a circle and a quadrant. The angle made by this green line segment that's given as 12 degree. Exciting part is with this limited data, we have to find value of angle X. Let's check the solution. Let's join OC here. And first question comes, can you find the value of this angle here, this red angle? For this red angle, let's join CB here. And with respect to this blue quadrant, we'll apply here inscribed angle theorem. That is for a chord, the angle at the circumference will be half the angle at inscribed at the center. So this angle here, this red angle will be twice of 12 degrees or 24 degrees. Now let's join DA here and here comes the next question. Can you find value of this angle here? Well, for this angle, let's join CA here. And now this time concentrate on this brown circle. So in this brown circle, we'll apply angle in the same segment theorem. That is the angle inscribed by the chord CA at the circumference. If you'll see it, CA is inscribing the angle of 24 degree at the circumference. It will inscribe same angle at the remaining part of the segment. So this angle, complete angle will be 24 out of which this is 12. So this remaining angle, yes, that will be 12 degree. Now the third question, can you find value of this angle? Well, for that, if you will consider OD and OB, these are the radius of this blue quadrant and thus they are equal or triangle OBD. It's an isosceles right angle triangle. So this angle here, this green angle will be 45 degrees out of which this angle is 12. So this red angle, yes, that will be 33 degrees. Again, with respect to this brown circle, chord OA is subtending angle of 33 degree at the circumference. And by angle in the same segment theorem, the value of angle X here, that will be same 33 degrees. And that's our answer. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I will see you in next video. Till then, tata, bye bye.